Prince Siddhartha, who later became the Buddha, was the son of King Suddhodana and Queen Maya. He was the prince of Kapilavatu city, now in Nepal. At that time, according to the tradition of ancient India, the queen came back to her motherland to give birth to the prince. However, on her way through Lumbini Garden, Siddhartha was born there. Unlike other women's delivery, Queen Maya gave birth to the prince while standing and holding on to a branch between two salad trees. After the queen gave birth, everyone there was so astonished and filled with happiness because of the three following special things. First, Prince Siddhartha immediately walked seven steps. Every step he looked in a different direction. That is not completely strange to us. We have seen a video of a newborn taking many steps right after being born. So it is nothing impossible that the prince could walk seven steps so prematurely. Second, every lotus grew out of the ground under each of his steps. Third, as usual, a newborn has his first bath. However, when Siddhartha was born, it rained to bathe him. According to Buddhist spiritualism, that phenomenon was due to nine dragons pouring holy fragrant water to bathe the infant prince. That's why nowadays we see many images of nine dragons pouring water to the infant Buddha statue. It is also said that devas offered fragrance and flowers to welcome the birth of the prince. This phenomenon is nothing incomprehensible as in some places on earth even not a flower can be found, but we can still sense fragrance. The birth of the Buddha is an extremely rare occasion, like the Udumbara flower, which blossoms only once every thousand years, according to Buddhist scriptures. For such a great appearance, the bathing Buddha ritual is held annually at Bhavang Pagoda. On behalf of the Buddhist community of Ba Vang Pagoda, Thầy Thích Trúc Thái Minh, the abbot is offering incense and praying to the three jewels. When we pray with complete faith and sincerity, we can receive the protection of the three jewels. Like a story in the Buddha's time, thanks to the protection of the three jewels, a series of calamities, namely drought, famine, and diseases in Vesali city, which caused many deaths, ended. Before the bathing Buddha ritual, the Sangha chants a verse of bathing the Buddha to praise his birth. Thầy Thích Trúc Thái Minh and monks are performing the Bathing Buddha ritual. This ritual shows the joy and respect of the Buddha's disciples to his birth. If it hadn't been for that birth, there would not be the Buddha. If it hadn't been for that birth, there would not be the Dharma for us to learn and practice today. If it hadn't been for that birth, there would not be the Sangha who teaches us the Buddha's teachings. And if it hadn't been for that birth, there would not be the three jewels for us to rely on. For his appearance, sentient beings know what suffering is, what happiness is, 
and how to end suffering. Therefore, the birth of Prince Siddhartha has such a huge meaning to this realm. Thầy Thích Trúc Thái Minh once said, To bathe the Buddha is to cleanse and purify our soul. Through the ritual, we let the infant Buddha appear in our mind. The Buddha was a person whose virtue is perfect and wisdom is completely clear about every matter of the universe, human life, and the cosmos. Thank you.